here. Thanks for watching the Drawing for Kids video brought to you by the Ann Arbor District Library and the Ann Arbor Art Center. Grab a ruler and a pencil and a sheet of paper and we'll get started drawing these one point perspective names. So you'll be drawing your own name. I'll be drawing my name, which is Peyton. Um, and we're gonna draw it kind of at a curve like this. So that's just to show you about where we're going. So we wanna fill up our whole entire page. So make sure that you are doing that. Take your time drawing these bubble letters. Try to make sure that they're pretty even all the way across. You can see how I was looking at the distance between each side of those bubble letters. If it's easier to draw your letter first and then just kind of trace a little shape around it, you absolutely can. That might be a little bit easier if you are new to drawing bubble letters. Um, it can be tricky and then you can always erase any extra lines. After you've done that with your ruler, you're going to connect one one corner of each of your letters um, with your ruler and then you're going to draw a dot in the corner of your paper um, you can see how I've done that and then you're going to connect that ruler to that dot and then once they're the lot they've lined up you can't really see me doing that because I don't have you can't really see that digitally of me having that ruler but once you've done that then you can draw a line connecting the corner of each letter to that dot Okay, and that'll put everything in one point perspective. And you can also see that sometimes I'm having to do the edges when you have something that's like a round letter, like on my, the side of my P and the sides of my O's. So it's a little bit tricky on those, but anytime you have a corner or the side, that will also work as well. Then what I want you to do is I want you to pick something that's about you. So think of what characteristics or what hobbies what interests do you have that you could draw in each letter so let each letter have a different interest so um so in each of my letters i'm choosing different things that i enjoy doing things that i've done before recently like this year so um i enjoy hosting um and having friends over for badminton or um, so that's what's kind of in the first letter there so I have a little sunshine um, a little fire pit badminton net the birdie grill for cookout a little hot dog badminton rackets in my a I have the mountains um, and I went this summer and it was raining so I drew the rain in there um, I also really enjoy gardening and flowers so I did that in my Y and then in my T as most of you could probably guess I love art of course so I drew my easel paintbrush and a palette and then oh I also enjoy birds and drawing birds so I also drew those and then in my N I am drawing baking supplies and different things that I've baked since I enjoy that as one of my hobbies and then once you've done all of that you can go ahead and color it I'm gonna recommend that you practice some shading you can use markers as well if you don't want to do the shading and you can just color it but I do think to make it really look 3d um, even if you draw with markers go back and layer some Shade, shading on top with colored pencils or crayons where you press down a little bit harder and go a little bit darker um, in some of the areas so you can see you can follow a similar shading pattern that I did and then just color it lightly on top. So I hope you've enjoyed today's one point perspective name video.